Welcome to the pool at the Burj Al Arab. In order to get to the pool, you take a little golf buggy. It is so hot in Dubai, and so you want to get to the pool, but it's a long way to go. You drive all the way around and you get a view of the water, and you're driven up past the Gucci store that's by the pool, obviously, and uh, then dropped off right at the front of the pool. You get to decide which pool you want to enjoy. They've got changing rooms downstairs that you, you want to just hang out in. They're so nice. And then um, the day pass, if you're going to do the day pass, if you're not staying at the hotel, includes a food credit. And the food is fantastic. I would actually rate it along the lines of some of the Michelin star restaurants we've eaten at. It was a magical experience. They've got a fresh water pool, they've got a salt water pool, they've got hot tubs, they've got cabanas, they've got the view of a lifetime. This is the comfiest beach chair I've ever been in in my life. They're like legit pillows and then it's like a memory foam <laughs> mattress on top of a lounge chair. It's pretty legit. All pool chairs really should be like this, now that I'm thinking of it. It's all right, I guess. And these pools are really so, so special. They were handmade in Finland and they have over 10 million tiles. So this is the salt water. Who doesn't want to sit lounging by the pool, gazing over the Arabian Gulf, and just really taking it all in, that you are here at one of the most iconic places in the world. Kind of nice. Not too bad. We work hard for you guys, really. <sighs> we, we work really hard to give you these moments, you know? Glad to be here to experience this and for you. Why do they think I want the GPS? I don't know. Probably because it's wondering why you're in a hot tub in Dubai in the heat of the day. Right. Probably checking my, thinks you're lost. Checking my geography. And why would you come to a hot tub in Dubai? Because you can. That's why. Yes, hot tub in the desert? Yes, please. Lots of bubbles. More bubbles were coming out of that 5K shot than a bottle of champagne. Like a crushed crystal. Uh, it's pretty much perfect sand. Probably crushed by hand. I mean they've got a thousand tons of imported sand like crystallized sand from Saudi Arabia. The salad is amazing. Apparently the fruit in the salad is illegal in the United States. Something about how it could mess up agriculture. Where's the best place to have mini fries? Um, the Burj Al Arab, of course. I think people that eat mustard 
And they think mustard is the number one condiment. I think mustard should be on everything. I actually have a higher level of intelligence than those that like ketchup. It's just an opinion. Quite an interesting concept though. Here I am getting anything I want and they gave me Tabasco. That shows you the iconic status that Tabasco has. In your fridge, deep in the back, on the left, the exact same world-class status is there. Go experience it just with me. Let's, let's do it together. We will be unified in some beautiful way. The, the whole world of eternity. Ready? Put Tabasco on my fry. You can put Tabasco on anything you're eating right now. We just tasted the moment together, guys. Wow. That was unifying. We should do more culinary experiences like that together, guys. That was a beautiful moment. That was fun. Feel free, you can pause, rewind, live it again. Let's do a little ketchup moment for you. To salute Warren. Is it tomatoes? What is it? It's just sugar, basically, right? Yeah. I understand why you want to coat French fries in sugar. Sugar paste? Mm. Okay, we did that moment for you guys too. But I refuse, absolutely refuse, to do a mayonnaise moment. We have an image to uphold. Are these the best French fries? Yeah, probably. The last I will never know. I don't know how much they were. Hashtag gluten. But honestly, they're the perfect little size. Is it an Idaho potato? Likely. Were they hand cut? Probably. Were they hand cut by a Michelin star chef? Probably. We don't know. We only know so much. Yellow love. Bread, brioche, buttery, American cheddar, aged, perfect tomato, iceberg on the crunch. Vidalia onions. Mmm. Maybe too good. It's probably too good. Trick for ya. Something my wife taught me. You always eat a really big burger and french fries before you go into the infinity pool and take off your shirt. So you have a dad bod and a little dad belly. That way nobody hits on you. It works every time. Almost done with my my uh, burger that she ordered for me. And I just happened to order a crab pasta dish. 